god, I missed that sound. Greedy peeps, my name is Scripps and welcome to Hollow Knight, the prime of my channel in some people's opinion that is. But I gotta admit, I owe Hollow Knight a favor because it helped put my channel on the map and it helped sort of at least get a little bit of that motor going in terms of channel growth. I was sort of stuck in an infinite loop, um, so one, these were just some of the games I could play in order to just see a few comments pop up because that was what was most popular on my channel at the time. So I played the game a lot is what that means. So much in fact that it means I have beaten every single challenge in this entire game. Except for God Home, of course. Fuck God Home, God Home doesn't count. I consider God Home a DLC. I don't consider that part of the main game, so that doesn't count. So it's not clickbait. But there is one challenge I haven't done in the main game yet. One that people have been talking about for a long time as one of the most painful things to do. It's extremely difficult, apparently, and it's something that I've actually even illustrated before, but it's completing the flower challenge for the Grey Mourner. And it's actually sort of graveyard media that reminded me that this challenge really exists. Uh, I just suddenly came by one of their videos and going into their YouTube channel, beating the flower challenge is still their most popular video of all time. And he didn't even beat it. What a scrub. So it's time to pick up the gauntlet, it's time to get into the fight. And it's time to show what we're made of. I have played this game for a long time. It might also be a long time since I've played this game, so it's gonna take a little bit for me to warm up to it. But I think I know my stuff, thank you very much. Except how to get out of God Home. I actually don't remember that. But yeah, it's actually been such a long time since I've played this game, and I actually know so little of the challenge uh, with the Grey Mourner. I just know that it exists, but I know so little of it that I actually don't even know where the Grey Mourner is. I think they're in the dream place? Oh god, I gotta get through this entire segment, don't I? See how I just got hit there? Can't allow those mistakes to happen when we're doing the actual run. Oh, and it's here. I've never seen that. Oh, what is this place? That's cool. So is this just her hut? Like out here in the middle of nowhere? Hi! The legendary warrior I've never heard about. Okay, so let's take this mission. I'll tell you later. Ah, Mahon. This world, this cool sinful world. Why does she wake? Why does she persist? Ah, Alema, you could not know the tragedy of complete as cheese. True lovers stripped apart two worlds that could not meet. And now, Melet lover, dead so long in time, dead so far away, buried Moana. I, amongst its hateful kin, that deny our union, that did reject cheese outsideness. She doesn't suppose. Nalo, Nalo, could she ask? Could she burden? It's very dramatic. Lema, would you? Couldst you deliver gift to her grave? So this is basically the mission. Delicate flower. Oh, rare boon you grand lemur. It will be Chi's last request after this. Never shall Chi lay burden on another. Oh god, that's sad. So yeah, she might have riled it up as some big deal, but that's because it absolutely is. For you guys who've played Hollow Knight, you know what this is about. For you guys who don't, let me fill you in. I have now received an object from this person called the Grey Mourner. The Grey Mourner, there's a whole lot of lore, but basically her lover passed away um, and they were basically two people who were never supposed to meet. They were from different um, tribes or whatever and they weren't supposed to be together. It's kind of like a soul bound lovers thing. But her lover died and now she wants us to deliver a flower to her grave on the other side of the map. And I mean that in a very literal sense. She wants us to go from here, her start point, all the way across all this in any path we choose until we get over here to the white lady. We're very close anyway. Yeah, right there. And this is not easy. Because if we get hit a single time during our run, it's basically glass soul mode because as soon as we die, or as soon as we get hit even, the flower breaks and we have to go all the way back to where we came from. So we have to plan this accordingly. We have to pick the safest route on our map, and we have to pick just the right charms. But it all starts at the Grey Mourner. From the Grey Mourner, we'll have to go through the underground of the resting grounds, which is not the safest place, but there's no other alternative, so we're just gonna have to brute force it. As soon as we get into the hub area of the resting grounds, we then have three different routes to pick. We can pick one, which is the tram station on the left, which will head into the Forgotten Crossroads. It's a little more dangerous since you'll have to be exposed to some monsters, maybe on the right side of the Forgotten Crossroads, but it's pretty low risk. 
The second route being pretty much the same since all you have to do is just take the lower path into the Forgotten Crossroads and directly over to the Charm Cellar. But the Forgotten Crossroads itself is actually a pretty bad place to be, especially since it got infected and pretty much all its inhabitants are explosive. And not only that, but you need to go through spikes if you want to go directly to the Fungal Wastes. So we're going to have to head down to the City of Tears anyway, making the elevator shaft down to the City of Tears the best choice, as it's very flat terrain and you should be able to maneuver around most of the enemies pretty easily. Now we'll get into more strategizing once we reach that actual area safely, but for now it's all about execution. So basically we have a bunch of charms here to pick between, but anything that gives us health, anything that benefits from like taking damage or anything, th those charms are useless. But that also means over charming won't be a problem since we cannot take a single hit. Now of course since I don't have the grubber fly or whatever that makes me shoot uh, like things out of my nail, then I, I can't use that. Although that would make the game very easy. But that means we have two optimal builds to pick between and one of them is just extending my nail as far as possible and make my nail as long as possible keeping enemies away from me uh, will obviously keep me safer. But that also means we need to consider the second build which is a soul build which means that I, I can attack enemies very very far away but it's very slow, it's very methodical, and if enemies get close to me, I have no effective way to fight them off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna at the very least start um, with the long nail build. We're gonna need Dash Master to be able to be as maneuverable as possible. Then Quick Slash it is. I know it sucks um, having to fight enemies for longer because that's more like time being in the danger zone, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. This is the best for um, keeping enemies away. So... Let's let the build begin, or let's let the challenge begin, I guess. Now, charge enemies are obviously gonna be dangerous, but just keep them at a... Okay, that doesn't do damage, I'm happy. I almost got scared there. <laughs> oh crap, I thought, I thought I was gonna pull... I thought I was gonna pull the same thing that he did and just die within two seconds. But you're going underground, not optimal for my safety, uh, mind you, but it'll, it'll, it'll... Oh god. Oh god, you're gonna be a trouble, aren't you? Oh, you're gonna be trouble. You know what, let's just go away. Go away. I don't want you here. I don't want it here! Away! Away! Ooh, ooh. Okay, good, good. That was the first challenge, <laughs> getting over that guy. God, every fighting every enemy in this game is just gonna be a pain. Now, we're not gonna take the way to the right, because that'll... I think that'll cause us problems, right? Yeah, no, we're not going that way. Too many enemies. Ooh, spikes. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to see if the beautiful young maiden's home. Give me strength, girl. Give me strength. I know you're dead, but do something for me, an omen or anything. Actually, you know what? Your singing's enough. Thank you for the power. Heading down we are. Now here, I'm also gonna have to be quite, um... I have to play this safe. Because it might be pretty easy to maneuver around the enemies, but it's also a big level. It's a big area. So I could easily just jump and fall on an enemy that's actually outside of the screen. Yeah, like that. Okay, yeah, don't don't like that, don't like that. Um, and then I'm gonna have to fight these guys, right? Oh, come on, you douchebags, get out of here. Yeah, easy, easy, get out of here. I like keeping my distance. Once again, I repeat, with the charm that gives you longer range, this game would probably be easy mode, or this challenge would probably be easy mode. Um, like the grub, whatever. Well, I actually didn't think of that. See, I could go up here, or I could go that way. Oh no. I'm gonna go the path to the left. 